Now, the Miami Valley Certified Most Accurate Forecast with Storm Team 2. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Steve Norris in for Brian Davis, who has this Friday off. And well, we're about to wrap up this shortened uh, holiday work week. Of course, we had Labor Day there on Monday, and we mentioned the fact that by the end of the week, we're going to cool off quite a bit, and that is indeed the case. So today, high temperatures once again only in the 70s, feeling a lot like fall out there. In fact, our high temperatures so far 76 degrees, that after a morning low of 63. And you can see that's a bit below average for this time of the year. Uh, for this state, uh, our normal high is 81. The normal low is uh, 60 and no rainfall, at least up until about the last few minutes there at the International Airport. We actually have a shower that has popped up and I'll show you that on live Doppler 2 HD in just a moment. As we head through the evening hours, if you're heading to maybe one of the uh, high school football games, Operation Football underway uh, once again, uh, week four already, hard to believe. But if you're heading out, I uh, could see a passing shower, but generally dry. Uh, across the area, just mostly cloudy with temperatures slowly falling through the 70s during that game and we'll be down to right around 68 degrees by 11 o'clock tomorrow on your Saturday. Well, we'll start with temperatures in the uh, low to mid 60s and kind of a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day and we'll eventually top out in the upper 70s by uh, Saturday afternoon. Here's a look at live Doppler 2 HD. There's actually a big trough of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere, so that's going to keep us uh, with the uh, temperatures that are a little bit cooler than normal. Here's a look at live Doppler 2 HD. I mentioned the fact that in just the last few minutes, look at that, a, a little uh, couple of cells, one popping up right over the International Airport, another one just to the west, uh, just east of the Union area right now in northern Montgomery County, and then another little uh, shower has popped up just uh, well right around the uh, Tip City area and to the south and east. So again, an isolated shower. We can see that uh, throughout the evening hours. At the surface, high pressure, that is going to bring us a really nice weekend. In fact, uh, it's going to be very fall-like. I say fall-like because it's not actually fall just yet, at least astronomical fall. That doesn't begin until I believe it's the 23rd of the month. So a sun cloud mix throughout the weekend, highs in the upper 70s, our next best chance for rain, and we do need rain. We've only gotten a tenth of an inch or so since the 24th of August, but it does look like we will see some rain. Pretty good bet of that for Monday night and Tuesday. We started off the day cloudy, and then we broke out into some sunshine. And then once again, mostly cloudy uh, there in Troy, our camera there at the Stouter Center. Mostly cloudy downtown, 76 degrees, a breeze out of the north northwest at 8. The dew point is coming down slowly but steady in the lower 60s. Around the area, very uniform. Everybody right now in the mid 70s. So here's Future Track doing a great job showing those showers right along the I 70. I think the best chance for seeing any showers tonight will be along and north of I 70. And then as we head through the day tomorrow on your Saturday, we'll see a good deal of sunshine, especially during the afternoon. We'll call it partly cloudy for Saturday night. And once again on Sunday, partly to maybe even mostly sunny on the optimistic side. Tonight dropping down to 62 under mostly cloudy skies. Again, a chance of an isolated shower. Tomorrow for Saturday, 77 degrees under partly sunny skies. A very comfy first half of the weekend and a comfortable second half of the weekend with a high of 78. On Monday up to 80, but Monday night, it does look like we'll see some rain. That rain will linger into and through the day on Tuesday. Again, we need it. And then still only in the lower 70s for the remainder of the week.